Many women have painful sex and other vaginal symptoms once they become postmenopausal, and many women believe that these symptoms are an inevitable part of aging and that nothing can be done about them. These symptoms are, in fact, a chronic and progressive condition called vulvar vaginal atrophy, commonly known as VVA, which is very prevalent among postmenopausal women. VVA symptoms include dyspareunia, or painful sex, vaginal dryness, irritation, and itching. These symptoms are due to decreased estrogen levels after menopause. The highest concentration of estrogen receptors is in the urogenital area. When estrogen declines, vaginal changes include loss of rugal folds, shrinking of the vagina, decreased blood flow resulting in vaginal pallor and loss of lubrication. Subjective measurements show a decrease in superficial cells, increase in parabasal cells, and an increase in vaginal pH. In general, the physical exam is all that is needed to make a diagnosis. A pH test can be confirmatory and can be used to me measure progress of treatment modalities. Clinical data have demonstrated that treating the underlying cause of VVA will relieve symptoms and improve quality of life of postmenopausal women, including sexual function. The revised survey was an online survey of 3,046 postmenopausal women in the United States who have symptoms of VVA. The survey assessed women's knowledge about VVA and gauged the impact of VVA on women's quality of life. Additionally, the survey sought to understand the interactions of these women with their health care providers and also to gain insights into their preferences regarding treatment options for VVA. One of the most compelling information to come out of the revived survey is the fact that even though all respondents have reported at least one symptom consistent with VVA, less than half of them were aware of the condition, and even fewer attributed their symptoms to menopause. Revive also showed that nearly half of those surveyed never discussed their VVA symptoms with a healthcare provider. 40% of women expected their mm -hmm. provider to initiate the discussion, but only 13% of providers did. The survey showed that some women didn't mention their symptoms because they believed painful sex, irritation, and or dryness were an inevitable part of aging, not a common condition that could be treated. The way patients perceive their treatments is important, especially when it comes to sexual health. Options such as creams, tablets, rings, or over-the-counter moisturizers are available, but recent data suggests some women don't use these options for reasons such as convenience, privacy, and safety concerns. Applying over-the-counter moisturizers or lubricants can be time-consuming and messy. The survey found that more than 40% of women who used these products felt that they were inconvenient. Furthermore, these products only offer short-term relief and don't treat the underlying changes associated with VVA. Systemic estrogen therapy for a local problem, for example, vaginal problems, versus hot flashes and night sweats is not recommended. Of those women who received prescriptions for vaginal estrogen, 38% declined to have them refilled amid concerns for safety, side effects, and messiness and 16% of these patients felt that their symptoms weren't being adequately believed. Osfemifin, or Osfina, is an oral prescription drug that provides safe, effective treatment of dyspareunia, which is one of the most common symptoms associated with postmenopausal VBA. Clinical data demonstrated that osfemifin significantly improves the underlying physiological changes of VVA and lessens dyspareunia. Mm. Despite its prevalence and impact on women's health, 
BDA is underdiagnosed and undertreated in postmenopausal women. Unlike hot flashes, which usually go away after a few years, VDA progresses without proper treatment. 